All right, good morning, math students. Um, this video is to further explain the requirements for the um, homemade catapult. Um, there are really two requirements, um, and this is all stated in the, um, uh, the assignment on the LMS. Um, number one, it has to fire via tension, okay? Um, that means you can't just take a baseball in your hands and throw a baseball and say, well, my arm was a catapult because there's no tension there. You're actually just using your arm, okay? So let me give you two examples of tension. Um, the first one being what you did when I dropped off the uh, plastic spoon. Now, this is a plastic fork, but it's the same thing, right? When you pull back, it creates tension, and you're simply letting it go, and it throws an object, okay? So that is tension. Another example would be a um, rubber band. When you stretch a rubber band, you're creating tension in the rubber band. And then all you're doing is once again letting go and something moves, okay? So you can utilize any means of tension. Um, these are just two examples. I don't wanna give you any more examples because I want you to think through um, what the different ideas are and different possibilities, okay? Um, if everyone uses a rubber band or a plastic piece of silverware, I will know that none of you have any sort of um, individualism or creativity of your own, and all you did was take the lazy way out and use one of the two examples that I gave you. So try and think through what are, because there's a, a thousand different possibilities of how to um, catapult something using tension, okay? Um, the other requirement is that there has to be some sort of way to gauge launch, I'm sorry, pullback ang angle, okay? Um, we know pullback angle right here. If I weren't, if I were just leave it like this and think that it's going to somehow fire itself, the pullback angle is zero because I'm not pulling it back at all, right? Um, when I start pulling it, the angle starts changing, 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 okay? Um, so you have to have some sort of pullback angle. Now, the same thing can be true with a rubber band, right? Um, although rubber band also, um, we talked about launch angle, is gonna have a launch angle, right? What um, angle do you actually shoot at? Here's an angle, here's a different angle. There's an extreme angle, right? Um, the pullback angle with a rubber band isn't quite as, uh, uh, pronounced as the launch angle is, okay? Um, so you can use more of a launch angle with a rubber band, but a pullback angle here. There has to be angles involved, okay? So this is a math project. We're dealing with math um, functions here, all right? So I don't care what it looks like. It can be huge. It can be small. Um, it just has to fire an object, okay? Once we build it, then the actual math part is going to be um, me giving you some challenges to do with your catapult, um, including uh, finding the ideal uh, pullback or launch angle for distance and things like that, okay? Uh, but right now for Tuesday, that the only assignment that you actually have um, is to create this, um, this homemade catapult, okay? And remember when you turn in your assignment, you're turning in a video, okay? You need to show me how it works, explain to me what it's made of, uh, describe where the launch angle or pullback angles um, fall into place, uh, and then uh, upload that. Now, sometimes with videos, if you make a, a video and it's too long, it won't upload to the LMS. If it, does do, if it doesn't upload because it's too large of a, uh, a doc, then email it to me, okay? If for some reason the email says, that it can't send it through because it's still too big. Another way to get around that is to go into your YouTube account, to your where it says your YouTube channel, I'm sure all of you know where to get to that, upload it to your YouTube channel, and then just send me the link to the, the video. Okay, You can always delete it off of your YouTube channel um, once I've graded it. Okay, um, So that's the assignment for Tuesday. Tuesday Tuesday's assignment is really just building it. And then um, throughout next week, we're gonna be doing some um, math challenges with your built catapult, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But that is it. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.